Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to add cinematic bars in CapCut PC like you see here. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so there's a few different ways we can do this, so I'm going to show you the options that I know here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on import and then from there we're going to select the file we want to do the editing on and then click open. And then we're going to drag and drop this video clip down to the timeline. We'll make sure the playhead's at the beginning. We're gonna go over to video. Underneath the video, there's basic, remove BG, and mask. We're just gonna go to mask, all right? Under there, we're going to click on add mask. And then we're gonna go down to film strip. That's the only mask we'll be using today, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'll just show you here how we can change the thickness of the black bars so we can make them thinner or thicker. So what you do is you select the edge here where there's a white oval in the middle and you select that either on the top or the bottom. You'll select it and you'll hold the click and you'll either bring it down or up depending on if you want to make it thinner or thicker. So let's say we want it at this thickness we will just leave it at here. You can put it on full screen, play the clip, and now you have a cinematic look to your particular video clip, all right? So what you would do from here, if you were pleased with that, you would just go to export and export the file, all right? So now I'm gonna show you an effect that actually does something very similar, pretty much the same thing for us without having to use the mask, all right? So I'm gonna take this mask and I'm just gonna go like that. I'll unclick mask for a minute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the effects tab over here. So I'm just gonna click on it and then I'm going to search for an effect. And the effect I'm looking for right now is movie. So just type in movie, hit enter. Okay, it'll give two options. They're both pretty much the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this, hold the click, drag and drop it down to the timeline, okay? And then I'm going to make sure that the effect, the movie effect is highlighted, the box here. I'm gonna click on the edge and drag it until we see the blue vertical line and that means it's the same size as the video clip. And then I'm just going to press play and as you can see it is a steady, uh, steady thickness of the black bars here, okay? So it does the same effect that I just showed you that the mask did. Now I'm going to delete this effect, okay? And I'm going to show you just an ease in effect with the black bars by using the mask. So I'm gonna click on the clip itself. I'm gonna make sure the playhead's at the beginning. I'm gonna click on mask and film strip, okay? And then I'm actually going to leave the film strip um, so that we can't see any of the black bars, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm going to go down here and I'm gonna select add a keyframe, okay? So that means it's going to start as a full screen with no black bars. And then when I added a keyframe here, it automatically added a keyframe on the timeline. I'm gonna scroll the playhead ahead a little bit, and then let's say a little over two seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the white oval. You can either do it on the bottom or the top. And if I'm on the bottom, I'm going to click on it, hold it, and drag it up a little bit, okay? And then it, makes the black bars thicker and come into play, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it at that and I will, what I'll do is I'll take the playhead, so I'm gonna go back to my left here. I'm gonna take the playhead and move it to the start, all right? I'm gonna put it on full screen and you can see what this does. Okay, so it adds kind of a cinematic introduction to it, all right? So it kind of gives it some character, that's pretty cool. That is how you do a cinematic intro. And I'm actually going to show you how you do it without masking, okay? So similar to what I just showed you. So with the other effect. So I'm gonna show you an effect here. So you, once again, click on the effects tab and without 
You're gonna delete the movie in there and then you're gonna type in cinema, okay? And then enter. And from there, there's a pro one and there's a free one. So we're just gonna use the free one today. And I'm gonna click on this and drag it down to the timeline, okay? And then I'm going to click on the edge, all right? And make sure that this effect is highlighted and I'm gonna drag it to the end here, all right? Until you see this blue vertical line and then you know it's the same size as the video clip. And then what I'm going to do is press play. And then it just does the same thing that I just showed you with the mask, but it's an effect. However, with the, the, the bonus with the mask is you can customize it and make the bars whatever size you want to make them. Whereas this is how thick the black bars are and that's as thick as they'll be regardless. They don't won't get thinner or thicker. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this one here and I'm just gonna show you one last thing. I'm gonna show you um, an outro or a closing here. So we're gonna go back to effects. So you'll find this under the effects tab, okay? You're gonna go to the search bar and just search in horizontal close and then enter. And from there, you can either pick this one or this one, okay? So I'm gonna pick this one, I'm gonna drag it and drop it down to the timeline. I'm gonna make sure that the effect is highlighted, I'm gonna drag on the end and then scroll over till I see the blue vertical line, release, and then I am going to just play it for a bit. And let's just take a look here. So this is the horizontal close, and as you see, it kind of gives it a cinematic ending, and it looks pretty good, all right? So I'm gonna show you folks one last thing here, and that was just horizontal close under effects. You just search it, it comes up, and you can use that. I'm gonna show you one more thing here. I'm gonna delete these effects, okay? And then I'm just gonna make sure that this is highlighted. I'm gonna click on mask and film strip, so everything's the same. I'm gonna click on this white oval and I'm going to hold the click and drag it up a bit. And then I'm just gonna go under video, under basic. I'm gonna scroll down and then you just scroll to the very bottom and then there's canvas and let's say it's not expanded. I'm gonna click on it, it's expanded, it has none and uh, you just click on none here and you go to color and then you actually have the option where you can change the color to whatever you want of these strips, okay? At least while you're doing it through the mask, okay? So you can make it green, you can make them pink, you can make them white like the snow, okay? Um, any color you want, you can make the bars. So I just thought I'd show you that option I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.